focus on me. Yo, so uh, I'm actually trying to vlog. I don't have the mic in or anything because I'm in the middle of taking pictures for the Godzilla review, which I am putting together tonight for Thursday. I'm actually vlogging, like actually like not forgetting to uh, vlog. I played some Apex earlier and that was pretty fun. Uh, we got destroyed a lot because good players started playing in the normal queue again. That was unfortunate. So I'm, I'm shooting some pictures of... Uh, the SH Monster Arts Godzilla, and, you know, I'm liking it. Figure is a little... I got some problems with it, so watch that review if you're interested to know more about my opinion on it. You'll have to forgive me. Today is... Technically, right now is, um, Thursday. Um, but it's Wednesday night when I normally make my review. And I filmed one, uh... But you know what? I, I, I'm 18, and uh, I got my license this year, and I wanted to hang out with my friends, so I did. And I feel like I shouldn't have to be ashamed of that. I'm still going to get the video, the review out for Thursday. It'll be later in the day. You know, we went for um, a ride up to a local river, hung out, then uh, went to Meyer, as, as we frequently do. I bought some groceries, and then we went for another ride to a local river and hung out and I just got back and it was like probably three hours. You know, I, I'm kind of living life um, and going out, which is nice and different for me. And um, yeah, I'm sorry that I didn't make the video tonight and get it out on time, but gotta make the most of it sometimes. And I feel like tonight was one of those nights where I made the most of it. I'm also remembering to vlog, isn't that weird? So odd. You know what time it is. It's vlog time. Today's been interesting. Like I, like I said in the last clip, I had to edit everything on Thursday for Thursday. And I did that. I, uh, I got my Godzilla 2019 review. It's up, you know? It's there. We're cooking. Can you smell what the rock is? I don't know. Um, yeah, so the uh, review went up, and uh, hopefully that does well. It might, because it's a newer product, but uh, I don't know. I've spent a lot of time sharing videos because uh, I forgot to share them the other day. So, I'm dumb. Whoops. But, uh, yeah, now I gotta edit the Indecentage for this week. Because, you know, that still has to go up tomorrow. I am worried about it. Because I, um, that's actually what I'm starting right now. It's in a game we don't normally play, so I'm, I'm gonna, and we, I didn't have a lot of fun playing it, so I don't know how much I'm gonna get out of it. It might be a shorter and decent page this week. I guess you'll know, won't you? Cuisine Royale. Yes, Cuisine Royale. The game where you run around with pots and pans. Uh, Battle Royale game. It's very interesting. Needless to say, I'm not super excited about editing it, because, um, it's gonna be like awkward to edit. I'm all over the place. I'm a mess today. I did the dentist today. That really threw me off. I bled. It gave me an upset tummy. I'm having more fun editing the Indecence videos than I am the Skull HQ videos recently. And I don't know... Actually, I know exactly why. Because with the Indecence videos, I get to accentuate the comedy style of myself and my friends to the nth degree. It is so much fun to edit because I just get to watch us play a game and be stupid and remember that moment and laugh about it later. Um, and I kind of want to work that, like my style of comedy into my vlogs and into my reviews on this channel, but it's difficult. Uh, I did a little bit of it today with the Godzilla review, which I think you should check out. Uh, just at the beginning, at least. I started with the... Uh, dun, 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 dun. Like, I did the Godzilla theme song, like, out of my own mouth. But just to kind of, like, make, like, a dumb opening. I don't know. That's what I always like about doing the openings that I do on the Scholar's Q YouTube channel. Is I, I just... I get to be silly, like dropping stuff. That's my fa that's my favorite thing I came up with, is dropping shit. Yeah, I'm really liking editing Indecence and stuff. You know, I think that's good, because I, I 
for a long time I didn't want to make gaming videos anymore. Like that was the thing. I didn't want to make gaming videos. That's why I moved to doing reviews and stuff. But I think at heart I'm a gamer and I make gaming content and that's like I don't know. Like I started with reviews and yeah, but it's I shouldn't say it's easier. It's way less boring to edit a gaming video than it is to edit me talking about a product. But like, gaming videos get less views. I'm just rambling. Speaking of which, if you want to subscribe to my gaming channel, there's some pretty funny content over there. You really might like it if you're a fan of what I'm like on here. Really, it's, um, it's nuts. I like it a lot. I'm so proud of that stuff. Like, some of my favorite videos I've ever made have been gaming videos. Like, back when I played Battlefront 2 and was doing the the Decentage before it was the Decentage on this channel, the first one, one of my favorite videos I've ever made. And just expanding upon that has been awesome. Uh, I don't know, that's my rambling section of this vlog. I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit this Decentage now. Maybe not all of it tonight. I really want to finish it, though. And just so I can play games. Because tomorrow is Friday. I gotta stream tomorrow. Gotta remember that. Oh well. I don't want to edit at all. I have procrastinated for like two or three hours. Ugh. It takes a lot out of me to make one video. I'm gonna be honest with you, as soon as I started uh, editing the Cuisine Rail video, I just wasn't feeling it. But I'm tired. I'm thinking about taking a shower and going to bed actually early for me that way i can get up tomorrow and edit it and it'll be out at a reasonable time and then because i have to stream tomorrow my playing games that i want to do right now can just be then because it'll be for twitch too and everything will be good i don't like putting videos off till the last minute but i also don't want to shove out a piece of content that I'm not proud of and that I didn't try 100% on and that's where I'm at with the rough cut of the Indecentage. 10, no, nah, probably 20% of the way through the edit. Um, maybe a little bit less. Somewhere between 15 and 20% through the edit. I'm just not feeling it. it sucks, dude. Ugh. Okay, so I've spent all day looking at nerf blasters for some reason because I'm a crazy man and um, I really I want to get a new blaster so I bought this um, I I don't remember what this is called nano strike maybe and it shoots pretty good especially compared to my old nerf blasters I have the original recon from like 10 years ago and the uh, original rampage I think it's called also from like 2010 so needless to say I'm not very updated on nerf blasters um, but I do have and you've probably seen this on my desk before I do have this and this is from boom co um, I love halo as we all know it's halo so like I love this thing it shoots eight darts very very rapidly it's not battery powered or anything but it's just a, it's just a fast you know air gun and then I have Three, count them, three Boomco Magnums. I got these for Christmas from one of my brothers a few years ago. Right, so I, I have all of those. And then, if we take a trip down memory lane, we end up over here. And over here in my Lego section, I have a couple Nerf Blasters that I've had, um, like I said, forever. Oh, it's the Raider. I had the original Raider with Slam Fire, the original Recon. Um, and an old dart tag, which I believe this one is so old, uh, I got it from a friend, that it, when it came out, originally used the, um, the sticky darts, the suction cup darts. I love the look of this gun, I love the function of this gun, and I love the look of the Boomco rifles. So I was like, I also got Boomco rifles, right? Eh. Um, these shoot like garbage, um... Mostly because they're so old. They, like, can't cross a room. Uh, probably because the springs are old. And I looked into, uh, customizing, like, this one specifically. And 
I would have to like rip this off and then rip the thing out and put a new spring in. But because this is the original one, you can't do that because it's a different type of spring in a different setup. I would have to do a lot more research and probably end up paying a lot more money to do that. So I'm like, okay, let's look for a new rifle. So I was looking at the uh, something trooper. I don't remember the exact name. And they, ha they have that at my local Meyer. So I'm thinking about going to Meyer at some point and getting it maybe, I don't know, uh, or going up to a, there's a Target nearby-ish and a Walmart nearby-ish. And then you look to see if one of them have Boomco, because I prefer Boomco and have more darts. They don't even shoot farther than the newer Nerf guns, but they, uh, I just prefer their darts. Probably because they don't get smushed like these do. I also have the old Nerf darts. That's how old these are. There's, well, they were still orange before they were all like, and strike in blue. I spent all day looking at that and like modding nerf guns and like just dumb, I don't wanna say childish because like plenty of people who are old still use nerf guns. But like, I love this thing. This is like um, essentially if you know what the jolt is, it's essentially a jolt minus the fact that it's got like an extra plastic bit, the uh, blue bit all the way around. But otherwise this is literally just a jolt. I kind of wanted to modify it, but apparently like the difference is like three feet, but it shoots like a freaking charm. Um, it doesn't, however, beat this, which shoots farther, um, in all honesty, and has more dart storage. This can hold four extra darts besides the one in the chamber, two in the handle and two up here on the front. I love the Boomco one. Some, I, I don't know. I want to try to find the hammer shot, specifically the hammer shot from Nerf, um, because I like the look of it. It's a revolver. I thoroughly enjoy it. It's also, you can fan the hammer. It just looks cool because it's a revolver. I kind of just want to buy it um, and mod it. Maybe it's look like a wingman from Apex Legends. I think that would be pretty sweet because I have my kunai from Apex Legends. It's smaller than it's supposed to be, but I have a kunai. And I would love to have a wingman. Also from Titanfall. You know, I don't want to get that debate started. It is from Titanfall originally. We we know this. Yeah, so that's my day. I'm going to edit now because I need to do that still in the stream tonight. So. So I had Taco Bell last night and it was um, something I'd never had before. And I decided tonight for some reason after the stream that I'm going to go get Taco Bell. So, um... That's fun. Yeah, and then I guess when I get back after I eat or something, I'll, I'll, I'll go over the uh, the work time sheet, as I call it. Because that's pretty important, you know? Yeah, no? To say that I only got Taco Bell would be a complete lie. I ended up going to Taco Bell, then coming back and editing a little bit of the vlog uh, right there. And, uh, bad trigger just button, right there. Then, uh, my girlfriend and Christian and I, Autumn Christian and I, we all went not where I thought my thumb was. We all went to Meyer, because as we do, and uh, we walked, just walked around. She talked with her brother for a bit. Um, Christian and I walked around. Autumn, I actually ended up buying Autumn this Nerf gun. This is the Nano Shot or Nano Fire or something like that. It's a good Nerf gun, you know, for five bucks. Anyway, uh, it's now four in the morning. I have to shower and edit the rest of the vlog. I thought now would be a good time to finish filming the vlog. So um, we have our timesheet breakdown, this time for week number six. So, so on Monday. Monday I worked for six hours and nine minutes, most of that being uh, streaming for three and a half hours and I edited for an hour and a half. On Tuesday, I, I worked for two hours and 13 minutes and uh, most of that, an hour and a half of it was editing, the rest of it was other various things. On Wednesday, I edited for, I definitely missed stuff on Wednesday. Wait, these totals are wrong. One second, sorry about that. Apparently I'm dumb. Um, so Wednesday, right? Yeah, Wednesday, I uh, edited for two hours and that's most of it. Uh, so I only worked for an hour, three hours, 55 minutes. So most of that was um, filming and editing. I also did some product testing that day because I needed to get my thoughts together for the Godzilla figure. Thursday, I edited for three hours, or sorry, I worked for three hours and 25 minutes. And most of that, once again, was editing because I had to edit um, the Indecentage that day. And then Friday, I streamed for three hours and two minutes. So overall, pretty productive week. The total is, that's about 18.73 hours. So not as much as the week before, but 
better than I've had. So I'm proud of that, but I would prefer it be more than 21 hours. So hopefully we're gonna get that this week. That being said, I streamed today for three hours, so that's a good start. So hopefully we can um, keep that going for the rest of the week. Anyway, if you're enjoying the uh, vlog content, feel free to subscribe for more of that. Of course, check out the Indecent Gaming channel. Um, I'm loving the content I'm making over there. Hopefully you do too. It's some pretty um, funny, in my opinion, gaming content. And I'm trying to expand my horizons and I have some editing stuff that I didn't realize I wasn't doing on the Indecent Taj videos. Um, like some final touches that I normally add and I wasn't doing them. So. If you'd like to see some more indecent tages with uh, the static, the TV static back, that's what's coming up, hopefully, if I remember. So, anyway, I'll see you later. Take care.